Welcome back to Top 10. Today, we're unveiling our Top 10 Most Anticipated Horror Movies of 2023. It's time to get your adrenaline pumping as we explore the spookiest, most thrilling films that you couldn't possibly have patiently waited to see on the big screen this year. But before we embark on this journey into the world of horror, do us a favor, give that like button a jump scare and subscribe to our channel for more bone-chilling content. No more delays, now let's step into the darkness. Starting off our chilling countdown at number 10 is Renfield. <laughs> This 2023 American action comedy horror film directed and produced by Chris McKay offers a unique twist on classic horror. The film, inspired by Bram Stoker's Dracula, stars an ensemble cast, including Nicholas Holt, Aquafina, Ben Schwartz, and Nicholas Cage. Renfield takes us on a darkly comedic journey into the world of Dracula's henchman, Renfield. After facing development challenges, the film found its footing, embracing a comedic spin on the story. Dexter Fletcher was initially set to direct, but Chris McKay took the reins, bringing Robert Kirkman's vision to life. The film premiered at the Overlook Film Festival in March 2023 and hit theaters in April. While it received mixed reviews, the film's humor and performances stood out. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film received a 58% rating from critics, while the audience seemed to enjoy it a bit more, their rating sitting at a nice 75%. Renfield may not have been a box office hit, but it's a unique addition to the horror genre. Creeping into number 9, we have The Nun 2. This American Gothic supernatural horror film, directed by Michael Chaves, extends the eerie lore of the Conjuring universe. It features Ty Safarmiga, Jonas Bloke, and Bonnie Ahrens reprising their roles from the first film, alongside newcomers Storm Reed and Anna Papa Well. The Nun 2 serves as a sequel to The Nun that was released in 2018, delving deeper into its unsettling narrative. Initially proposed by James Wan in 2017, the project gained momentum and officially kicked off in 2019, with Akela Cooper initially penning the screenplay. Later, Ian Goldberg and Richard Nunn joined the writing team to refine the script. The film embarked on its sinister journey with principal photography in France in October 2022, leading to its release on September 8, 2023 in the United States. The Nun 2 achieved commercial success, amassing an impressive $263 million worldwide, despite lukewarm reviews. While some critics were less enthusiastic, audiences found it to be a worthy sequel that amplifies the supernatural chills of its predecessor, resulting in a 52% critic rating and a 62% audience score. Unveiling number 8 on our list, we have Insidious the Red Door. Four, three, two, one. Dalton! Directed by Patrick Wilson in his directorial debut, this supernatural horror film is the fifth installment in the Insidious franchise, following the events of Insidious Chapter 2. The original director, James Wan, served as the producer, and the film features a returning cast, including Wilson, Ty Simpkins, Rose Byrne, Andrew Astor, Steve Coulter, Joseph Bashara, Lee Wannell, Angus Sampson, and Lin Shay, with new additions Sinclair Daniel and Haim Abbas adding a fresh layer of dread to the story. Production kicked off in August 2022 in eerie locations around New Jersey City. Insidious the Red Door made its chilling debut in the United States on July 7, 2023 under Sony Pictures releasing. Despite mixed reviews from critics, with a 38% score on Rotten Tomatoes, it became a commercial success, grossing a spine-tingling $188.8 million worldwide and becoming the highest grossing film in the series. Now, settling into scary number seven is Talk To Me. I like it. They're not gonna stop. They're never gonna stop. This Australian supernatural horror film, created by Danny and Michael Philippou, offers a unique twist in our lineup. Written by Danny Philippou and Bill Hinsman, inspired by Daley Pearson's concept, the film features a talented ensemble cast, including Sophie Wilde, Alexandra Jensen, Joe Bird, Miranda Otto, Zoe Terrakes, Chris Alosio, Marcus Johnson, and Alex Andrea Stephenson. 
It tells the chilling story of teenagers who stumble upon an embalmed hand that allows them to communicate with spirits, leading to a dark spiral. Originally unveiled at the Adelaide Film Festival on October 30, 2022, it later hit Australian screens on July 27, 2023 under the Moslow Entertainment banner. Both critics and audiences praised the film, achieving an impressive 94% and 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. They commended its storytelling, direction, spine-tingling horror sequences, practical effects, sound design, and performances, with Sophie Wilde and Joe Bird receiving special acclaim. The film emerged as a box office sensation, raking in a remarkable $90 million worldwide against a modest $4.5 million budget, firmly establishing it as a 24th second highest grossing film. And apparently the terror doesn't end here since there is a sequel already in the works. In our spooky number six, Evil Dead Rise. It was the perfect day. And all I could think about was how much I wanted to cut you all open. Directed and written by Lee Cronin, this supernatural horror film introduces us to two estranged sisters, portrayed by Lily Sullivan and Alyssa Sutherland, who must unite to protect their family from malevolent forces known as Deadites. With gripping performances by Morgan Davis, Gabrielle Eccles, and Nell Fisher, this installment vividly depicts their struggle for survival. This film's journey began with the shelving of plans for sequels to Evil Dead 2013 and Army of Darkness 1992, as well as a fourth season of Ash vs. Evil Dead. However, in October 2019, Sam Raimi announced a new Evil Dead project. Rob Tappert served as the producer, while Raimi and Bruce Campbell assumed executive producer roles, and Lee Cronin decided to take on both writing and directing duties for the film. Starting around June 2021, Principal photography unfolded in New Zealand and didn't finish until October the same year. Then, Evil Dead Rise finally premiered at South by Southwest on March 15, 2023, and it received a theatrical release in the United States on April 21. This supernatural horror film garnered favorable reviews from critics, earning an 84% rating on the tomato meter, and it amassed over $146 million worldwide solidifying its position as the highest grossing entry in the Evil Dead series. Now, let's bravely dive into number five with Megan. You should probably run. <laughs> Megan, if you push Brandon onto the road, I won't let anything harm you. An American science fiction horror film helmed by Gerard John Stone. Crafted from a story by Akela Cooper and James Wan, who also served as a producer alongside Jason Bloom, this movie stars Allison Williams and Violet McGraw in leading roles. Amy Donald physically brings the character Megan to life, while Jenna Davis lends her voice. The story revolves around an artificially intelligent doll that gains self-awareness and takes a sinister turn, targeting anyone who threatens her bond with a human companion. Megan had its grand premiere in Los Angeles on December 7, 2022, and it hit theaters in the United States on January 6 the following year. With a budget of $12 million, the film grossed over $181 million worldwide. Critics praised the film for its unique blend of horror and humor, highlighting its campy charm. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film received a 93% rating from critics and a 78% rating from the audience. As a bonus for fans, a sequel titled Megan 2.0 is set for release on January 17, 2025, with Williams and McGraw reprising their roles. Cooper is also returning to pen the script, and discussions are underway for John Stone to return as the director. Let's jump into number four, The Exorcist Believer. Whatever those girls went, they brought something back with them. The body and the blood of Jesus Christ. Directed by David Gordon Green, it's a supernatural horror film and the sixth installment in the Exorcist franchise, serving as a sequel to the iconic 1973 film. The movie features an impressive cast, including Leslie Odom Jr., Lydia Jewett, Olivia O'Neill, Jennifer Nettles, Norbert Leobitz, and Dowd and stars Ellen Burstyn and Linda Blair reprising their legendary roles. The film's gripping plot follows a photographer confronting evil when his daughter and her friend become possessed. 
Produced by Jason Bloom's Blum House Productions and others, this sequel idea surfaced in December 2020. Universal Pictures and Peacock joined forces in June 2021 to acquire distribution rights for $400 million, with plans for a new trilogy. The movie was shot from November 2022 to March 2023 within a $30 million budget. The Exorcist Believer hit theaters on October 6, 2023, grossing $112 million worldwide. While not a favorite with critics and fans due to a lack of fresh scares, the story continues in The Exorcist Deceiver, scheduled for April 18, 2025. The film received a 22 and 59% from both parties on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's quietly sneak into number three, Five Nights at Freddy's. What do they want? They want to make her like them. Bobby! Tell me how to stop them. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Bobby, go! <laughs> a supernatural horror film based on the popular video game franchise by Scott Cawthon. Directed by Emma Tammy, the movie stars Josh Hutcherson as a troubled security guard who takes a night job at an abandoned family entertainment center. Unknown to him, the animatronic mascots come to life at night, and they're not friendly. Elizabeth Lale, Piper Rubio, Mary Stuart Masterson, and Matthew Lillard play supporting roles, with some surprise appearances in the film. Why do I always get the weirdos? The journey of this film adaptation began in April 2015, initially involving Warner Bros. Pictures. After various delays and changes, Blumhouse Productions took over in March 2017, and Emma Tammy became the director in October 2022. Filming occurred from February to April 2023 in New Orleans. Five Nights at Freddy's premiered on Peacock on October 26, 2023, followed by a theatrical release on October 27 by Universal Pictures. Despite negative reviews from critics, with a 26% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, the film grossed $39 million against a $20 million budget. It also appears to be a hit with the fans, as those who followed the franchise from their monitors to the big screen are enjoying it. Now, diving into the shadows with number two, Saw X, the latest in the long-running horror franchise. Of all the men to cheat, you picked John Kramer? John! Directed and edited by Kevin Grudert, it's a unique blend of sequel and prequel, with familiar faces like Tobin Bell and Shawnee Smith reprising their roles. So X follows John Kramer's quest for a cure in Mexico, only to discover a sinister scam. Seeking revenge, he subjects the culprits to his infamous death traps. The journey to this 10th installment began in April 2021, with Twisted Pictures taking the lead. The script was finalized by Peter Goldfinger and Josh Stolberg in December 2021, while Gruder directed. And filming for the movie occurred from October 2022 to February 2023 in Mexico City. Released by Lionsgate Films on September 29, 2023, Saw X grossed an impressive $81 million globally and received positive reviews from both critics and audiences, with Rotten Tomatoes scores of 79 and 89% making it one of the franchise's best-reviewed entries. We finally reached number one with Scream 6, the latest in the iconic slasher franchise. You want me. So let's finish this. Directed by Matt Bettinelli Olpin and Tyler Gillette, it's a direct follow-up to the 2022 Scream and the sixth chapter in the series. In this installment, a new ghost face killer emerges in New York City, targeting survivors of the Woodsboro legacy murders. Though Nev Campbell didn't return, the film boasts an impressive ensemble cast, including Melissa Barrera, Jen Ortega, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Mason Gooding, and Courtney Cox, with some reprising their roles from previous films. With many originals returning, and directors Bet and Ellie Olpin and Gillette back at the helm, anticipation was high. Filming took place in Montreal, Canada from June to late August 2022. Scream 6 premiered at the AMC Lincoln Square Theatre in Manhattan on March 6, 2023, and officially hit U.S. theaters on March 10. The film received widespread critical acclaim and grossed a chilling $169 million worldwide. Notably, it became the first in the franchise to cross the $100 million mark at the domestic U.S. box office since Scream 2. 
It also received the Best Movie Award at the 2023 MTV Awards, leaving fans eagerly awaiting the next scream-inducing sequel. Well, there you have it, our top picks for the most anticipated spine-tingling horror movies of this year. We hope you're as thrilled as us to dive into these terrifying films later after this video. If you've watched any of these movies before and jumped out of your seat at any point, share your thoughts below. No spoilers though. And don't lie, we know you did. If you enjoyed our insights and want more captivating countdowns and thrilling content, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up to keep the horror rolling on top 10. Thanks for joining us on this slasher adventure. Until next time, stay spooky, be safe, and happy Halloween from Top 10, your go-to for amazing Top 10 videos.